Welcome back to Ravenfield. I just feel like that's appropriate timing, giving the trumpet. I'm going to show you something absolutely ridiculous today in Ravenfield. Talk about overly powered in the best way possible. 250 bots entered. Only one Baron Von James is going to live. You may be asking yourself, hey, Baron, how are you going to do that? That snipe rifle does look sweet, but what we're going to need... <laughs> we gotta call the juggernaut. And you know what? Let's, let's just have an ability to call in two. We've seen all sorts of different ways to call in air support. Parachute literal tanks from the sky. As if the manna from heaven had a 120 millimeter cannon on the front of it. Oh my god, I love the new helicopter. Who wants to be my gunner? You're probably gonna die. But don't worry. You gonna respawn. You're artificially intelligent. Ooh, the gunner's already firing, and you're firing seeking missiles at me, huh? Cute. Let's go on a little bit of a gun run here. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> Did you see the guy ragdolling flying towards the hangar in the background? Okay, needless to say, when you got 250 bots out there, well, there's gonna be a lot of them. In fact, I just counted. There's gonna be 250, meaning 125 enemies, out at any possible moment. I love the battle for the aircraft carrier. Absolutely adore it in Ravenfield. I think it's just like one of the coolest things. This is easily the best map. And I know that like Battlefield, the new Battlefield I thought was actually gonna be, <laughs> get this, a Ravenfield killer. I remember hearing that they were gonna have like bot support. So I was gonna be able to do a lot of things that I love. Oh, come on. This is... Kill it! Oh, no! Alright, let's parachute out of that. Okay, see, that's one of those dun 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 dun, -dun only in battlefield type moments. <laughs> oh! No, survive. Survive there, Billy. Blitz? Parachuting from the sky. Okay. Needless to say, the enemy bots are up to fight today. I'm thinking we're gonna need something a little bit better. Then a semi-automatic sniper rifle. Oh, it's kind of like bolt action, actually. We're going to use this guy. And we're going to spawn over here. Now, generally speaking, the blue bots, Eagle Company, usually takes this spot, right? Let's see how this gun fires real quick. All right, this thing is beautiful. I love it. But what I love more than it, I feel like as soon as I pop the grenade out, that guy just, like, spawned out of midair. So, whoa, Elon Musk, what are you... What are you doing here? So you throw the juggernaut. Copy that. Whoa. And apparently there's different voices depending on the faction. So I'm going to show the other one. Now we are looking for a plane to be coming in. There it is. Everybody with the airdrop mods in Ravenfield. They're so hot right now. So you may be asking yourself, Baron, what's a juggernaut? Dang, that thing dropped like a brick. Juggernaut, are you hidden in these ammo crates? Well, maybe some assembly is required. I think we need to change our video. Because you're supposed to be playing it in 1080p. Oh my gosh. But this is... <laughs> this is kind of funny, actually. Um, it's not designed for 2K monitors. I know this because I have a 2K monitor. <laughs> hey! Oh my goodness! But do you hear the music playing? And do you see how much health I have in the bottom left? I had like 20,000 hit points. I mean, we got like death metal playing. All right, hold on. Now, does this thing overheat or can I just keep firing it? Oh, <laughs> now I think that these are small arms bullets. Otherwise, I think I would have normally destroyed that helicopter. But I mean, this is literally infinite ammunition. I can't really tell where I'm shooting. It's just like an absolute spray. Uh-oh. You know these rockets are coming towards us, right? Oh, get out of there. Get out of there! Now, you can't switch weapon systems, like, to get off of the minigun and get onto, like, say, a bazooka. Or, you know, anti-armor weaponry. So your whole role right now is pretty much just to be a giant bullet sponge. But you also double as, not only do you tank, and my god, you're the equivalent of like, what, 
200 Ravenfield guys right now? Which is actually good, because the enemy is kicking our butt, actually. Look at that. Hey, guys. Oh, look, we got Blitz back. He parachuted in, killed us. And then we killed him. All right, so 99. Can I change? Look at this. These guys are literally running at a juggernaut armed with a minigun. That is literally not stopping. Although, they're definitely, like, affecting my accuracy. Which is terrible to begin with. Look at this. This is so ridiculous. This might be the most ridiculous. Oh! I just took a bazooka around to the face. Alright, let's rush this base. My guys are getting crushed too quickly. How is that guy not dead? This is disorienting, man. It's, I, I would imagine like you're a knight with plate mail in the medieval times going up against a bunch of villagers with pitchforks and they just keep smacking you. And you're like, oh, stop it. You know, like you, you get disoriented and all that. That guy should be dead. I think this needs some minor adjustments. Who is just shooting me? Well, the answer is everybody on the enemy team. This should be killing more of them quicker, shouldn't it? And you can see my health just dropping right now. If these were explosive rounds, the enemy would be stunned. <laughs> I mean, let's, let's check. 27! I've killed 27 enemies. So we've called in the Juggernaut, and it was pretty good, but I'm thinking we might need a little bit of something different. Now, we've called in a C-17 plane. We've called in the A-10 Warthog with the brrrr. And now what we're gonna be doing, a resistance sword? What is a resistance sword? How did I get that? Is that new? I actually need to see what that's all about. I, I, I'm not entirely sure if that's a mod or not. Okay, we, I mean, I'm gonna call in the VTOL, which stands for Vertical Takeoff on Landing, I believe. V-T-O-L. I always thought it was vertical- WHAT?! I think... This is new, isn't it? Oh! What?! What just happened there? Okay, some weird stuff's happening. Excuse me. <laughs> oh, he's got the he's got the magic headphones. Can I not? Okay, this is. Oh, I'm sorry, Rick. Oh, I don't know, Rick. Yeah, dude, this is weird, man. Two Easter eggs at the same time. Do we have a new secret weapon in Ravenfield? Let's go in the workshop. Resistance sword. This is brand new in the game. Okay. <laughs> All right, sprint at him. <laughs> this is so wild. Is is Steel Raven experimenting with multiplayer? I mean, that's kind of wild, isn't it? I mean, like, not with multiplayer, excuse me, with melee weapons? Because it sure kind of seems like it. All right, looks like Blue holds the beach here. Enemies are approaching. We're just gonna arrive in style, and I want to use my VTOL aircraft. Oh my gosh, okay. Striker 3-3 three, three, arriving on station. So it should fly overhead and just start dominating the enemy, right? Or will you drop bombs? Oh, yes! Yes! Look at that! That is amazing. I was like, I still running at me with a bullet in his, like, stomach. All right, so he, look at that. This is probably one of the best air support vehicles in the game because like the enemy's actually trying to attack it, which is good. So it's distracting the enemy and it's doing a really good job at like being offensively oriented by just like, just destroying. What are you shooting at? I wish I could stab a, a plane with my sword. Unfortunately, I don't get the kills from the airstrike. This is striker, we're RTB. Good hunt, guys. Yeah, indeed. But unfortunately, we're out. Now, what we could do... The VTOL is destroyed. What we could do is try to call in three of these guys at the same time. That would be pretty interesting. So let's go deployment right here. 
We've got multiple enemy vehicles approaching jeeps with machine guns on them. Tons of red boys. So calling in three VTOLs, I'm very curious to see how that plays in. We are doing a more than adequate job defending here. Okay. That's weird. <laughs> I'm terrible at shooting right now. All right, I'm thinking if we could get close and call in one over the bridge here, we would be able to not only hold the bridge, but then like move across it faster. Because normally we get destroyed on this map, I think. All right, so we'll call in one. We'll call in one VTOL here, and then we'll call in another one when we get closer once we have air support. Because he should just start destroying them, right? Oh no, I do get the kills from them. Okay, that's fantastic. So we've got five so far. All right, I gotta get closer. Look at that, man. All right, uh, let's call one in here. Uh oh, and let's drop strike a three three. Look at that, just getting shelled. Now, the other one just arrived. So now we've got two. Oh, I love how they arrive in style, man. Oh, oh god, oh god. Oh, we disabled the mud skipper. Oh. We finally died, but I mean, we're turning the tide here and keeping it honest. So let's actually respawn. We've got three. Now, I can't really see if they're still there. I don't think they are. Yeah, I'm not sure like if they die when I die or what. Oh God, that's scary. Please don't fire rockets at me. Now we're just marginally ahead. This is like, we're one bot ahead of them. But now that we're approaching the bridge, we definitely got to give our boys air support. All right, VTOL all one. Let's call in two at the same time. Now we're gonna do this one too. Oh God. Oh, I don't want to get run over. <laughs> Look at this man, I can literally just create an air force. Oh, that is awesome. Okay, I think it's safe to cross the bridge now, right? Let's just see. Oh god, there's a mud skipper coming. Guys, I need uh I need covering fire on that mud skipper. Please. Steel Raven himself killed me? Multiplayer confirmed. Alright, guys. Uh yeah, I don't know if they disappear when I'm dead or not. But wait, actually it's time to call in the juggernaut and walk across that bridge. We are, we're losing to them by a few. I need to call in two Harrier supports and get my Juggernaut. Otherwise, we are going to lose. Can it turn the tide of battle, man? I really, really hope so. This map isn't necessarily what you'd call balanced, right? Problem is, I'm wondering if it's going to end or we're just going to fall behind too much before I can even make a difference. Oh, what the heck? No! <laughs> This guy just snuck up on our position, man. Oh, there's actually a few of them. So that means they're like right down there, right? Can barely see like red pixels. All right, we're oh, we're ahead now. There we go. Dropped him. Okay, he's coming. Yes. All right, we're up by one. All right, I want I want my juggernaut called. And I'll have a car uh, Harrier support, my VTOL. Was it was the Harrier the first, like, widely used VTOL? We took out the Mud Skipper. All right, give me this Juggernaut. Hurry, 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 hurry. It does arrive quickly when it arrives. All right. All right, we'll turn the BGM music off. I don't know what that means. One of the caveats, though, of using this guy. Oh, look at that. It even pops out of his little X on the map. What is... Oh, my... Thanks, guys. You're really good team players, you know? We are one ahead of them. We need a... Ooh, we destroyed a Marlin. Now, the problem is you lose all... We took an attack boat out? Oh, heck yeah. Ouch. Why are you shooting at me? Destroy the VTOL. All right, enemy helicopter. Yeah, I don't think it's damaging enough how many minigun bullets can that thing take too many
Way too many. This thing is not designed. Is he Teepo? Okay. Guys, what is this? What? I've actually never seen this in all of my time playing Ravenfield. Are you alive? Is this when I need to use the sword? Is this a trick? Or is it merely a trick of the light? So we called out the Juggernaut and actually I think it negatively affected us because we did it at the wrong time. This thing is very slow. I hear a vehicle. Yeah, he's too slow and now nobody's here and there's only one guy left and it's me. One versus 13. As soon as we pulled out the Juggernaut, we got T-posed on and we lost. The minigun needs some serious work, but the Juggernaut is pretty overpowered in terms of how much damage you can sustain. Anyway guys, thank you for watching another episode of Ravenfield. Pull the trigger on the like button if you did enjoy it and you'd like to see more. And I will see you in the next one.